good YouTube man, it's your boy T2E Noxy, but shh, don't tell nobody, look, check this out. As you guys can see by the title of the video and the thumbnail, yes, we are back on X Cops. But the title of the video that we are reacting to from X Cops is talking about when cops catch predators just in time. So we're ready to see what X Cops got for us this morning. I'm gonna need y'all to go ahead and like and subscribe and turn my post notifications. The Noxy family already know the steps what to do, so I really appreciate if you guys do that, you know what I'm saying? But listen, we're ready to go ahead and say our blessings. I'm gonna need y'all to go ahead and bow your heads, follow along. I really appreciate if you guys do so. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this prayer. Thank you, God, for this wood. Bless it. In prayer fires, in Jesus' name we pray, we smoke. Let's go ahead and start with this video chat. Hey, we about to hit 800 subscribers already in two days. We just hit 700 subscribers, bro. Let's go ahead and hit that 1K mark again. <laughs> y'all got showing off too much. I love y'all. This is 35-year-old Reed Duran, and he was caught red-handed at a kindergarten looking for a child to abduct. What? You, you came here specifically looking for children. I mean, come on. This is getting creepier and creepier. Oh! On the 22nd of August, 2022, oh, officers were dispatched to the St. Bridget Catholic School in Greene County, Ohio, mm -hmm. following reports of an attempted kidnapping during a school event. When they arrived, officers found a rather calm Duran and a very angry father. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go turn the air. It's fucking hot. I literally just got the blocks in this shit. All right, we back, Chad. My fault. He said my daughter's name is Jay Jocelyn. He said Jocelyn. He said he drove by and saw everything. Before the police arrived, Duran found his way into a classroom and was barely inches away from the child he was trying to kidnap before he was stopped. While the parents complained to one officer, Duran told the other officer a whole different story. Right. I'm just going off of what I've heard so far. They're trying to get the more of the full story right now, but from what I've heard, you basically said that you knew a kid here or you had a kid. We on the ad. Even though you knew a kid or not, that don't give you the right to go pick up that kid you feel me just to take take that kid home with you you weirdo fuck and you couldn't give him a kid name and i'm trying to figure out why you're saying that and where are you at again so you came here you gave you gave a name with the j right is what you're trying to say for what reason did you do that mm -hmm. okay. you have an explanation for that Be part of this group here was it more at west how to like why did you want to be part of the group because also you said you're having some psychological issues right they've admitted to me you said that you're trying to get the gmh correct and i'm taking that you drove by here and you saw everybody out here correct how how do you that's on my understand so you you drove here correct you're trying to get the gmh but it's not making sense how you're how you ended up here and right. why you ended up here if you're trying to go to the GMH. Duran's right. story wasn't adding up and the officers sensed something fishy. Meanwhile, the child's father was quickly losing his patience and wanted something done immediately. Mm -hmm. you need to put him in the car. Sir, you need to walk away. You need to walk away. I need you to understand. Sir, you can be sir. I'm hearing you. Sir, he is walk out. Walk that okay. way. Walk that way. Did you hear me? Walk that way. Walk, walk that, that way. way. Yeah, you, you heard what I said. I'm asking. Up until now, the officers were not entirely sure how to handle the suspect, right. that is, until he confessed to having pills in his car. Wow. Hey. Well, he says there might be pills in the trunk. We might have that, but yeah. Yeah, so as far as this goes, I, I don't I don't have anything unless I I mean look up anything in the oh or see the home.
bro's story wasn't added up though. Like that, that shit still got me, chat. I ain't gonna lie. And the father is like, bro, like get this man out of here. I don't want to see his face no more. He just tried to take my daughter or one of my children that I was watching, that I was teaching, babysitting. You feel me? That's a lot, bro. And he got coat and fucking what? What else? Pills in his car? Come on, game. Right. You all over the place. Yep. Uh, a loose pill, but I, I, I looked up, doesn't look like it's anything. Right. The search of the vehicle did not yield anything. No drugs were found, and okay. it started to seem like maybe Duran had just been misunderstood all along. Right. That's when a school staff member notified the officers that they had found someone's clothes in the boy's restroom. I mean, come on, this is getting creepier and creepier. Yep. There's clothes in the boy's I mean, that's not too bad. He probably just could have changed clothes because he just wanted to change clothes. Like, he's seen the place to change clothes at type shit. That ain't bad. I went to Walmart to change clothes before. Real quick, real quick. Like this. this is the first time I've ever heard anything like this before. But in a school, in a kindergarten school, that is kind of different. So what, what was your intent when you, when you were looking that up? What were you trying to do? Right. Was it people, children, families, what? Just, just talk to me. Tell me. Okay. So you, you came here specifically looking for children. Okay. Okay, so you're, you're attracted to children? His shocking revelations were only getting worse. Right. Next, he would go on to tell the officer how he selected the child to target. So was it online? Okay, so you knew that name before you got it. Okay, so, so you, all right, so walk me through. You, you came in, how, how'd you get, how'd you get in? When you let in, did, was the door unlocked? Can you, can you explain that to me? Right. You look like a predator too, bro. Okay, so you walked in with the families. All right, then, then where did you go from there? Right. Okay, what'd you do in the bathroom? Right. Okay. Why'd you change your clothing? We on the ad. Damn, I want to get that answer too. I ain't tripping. We ready to see right now, chat. Why'd you change your clothing? No explanation? Just answer me. Why, why'd you change your clothing? <coughs> the officers had heard enough and needed the suspect at the station for further questioning. There, Duran suddenly had a sudden and unexpected change of heart. I gotta pause it on that one, chat. What was the whole point of that? Like, you already in custody, Gabe. You already inside that, you know what I'm saying? Interrogation room. You was staring at this motherfucker pencil like, yeah, bro. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm about to grab this motherfucker pen. And I'm gonna stab this nigga. Fuck it. All right, come on. <laughs> and try that shit slow as fuck. You, bro, you ain't put no power in there. You said, like, he's not gonna catch your arm, dumbass nigga. Hey, you gotta go. And you're a you look like a predator, bro. Dead ass, like you fit up. Like, I gotta take my glasses off. You look, you letting the motherfucking people look dumb who wear glasses. Like you weird. Now, are you kidding me right now? The officer was a failure. Reed Duran was subsequently charged with felonious assault, attempted kidnapping, escape, and criminal trespass. Right. He could spend up to 29 years in prison and pay fines of up to $50,250 if found guilty. Our wow. next case follows 35-year-old Mario Smith, a serial...
to assaulted his victim for half a decade. Right. It all started in 2016 when Smith began a relationship with a single mother of one. Instead of stepping up as a father, however, Smith took advantage of his girlfriend's trust and began her six-year-old daughter. In what? 2021, the Covington Police Department finally obtained a warrant for his arrest, but before they could execute it, Smith abandoned everything and fled to Cincinnati, Ohio. A few months later, Cincinnati PD received a tip about his location and were on their way to apprehend the slippery predator. Wow. Cincinnati, Ohio, where I'm from, bro? Why you went to my town? Why don't you come down and talk to me? Well, why don't you just come down here and we'll figure out what we need to do. That is the girlfriend. I don't know what kind of a sign that is when she wants to get all her kids out. Yeah, that's cool. Perhaps. You step on your oh, okay. We got a tip about a person who has a warrant. Do you know him? Okay. Is he here? Yeah. Were you aware that he had a warrant? No. You weren't? Not at all. What? Who, who is this to you? My boyfriend. Okay. And Trust does he stay with you normally? Oh, I mean, it's one of those situations where he come over to the house and one of those type of things. Okay. All right. You weren't you weren't aware that he had a warrant. No. Okay. You just answer that question. question. Yes. Smith's unspeakable actions were first noticed in 2018 when school teachers realized that his girlfriend's eight-year-old daughter had been but she refused to expose the culprit. Now he was on the run, living with a mother of five who had no idea how dangerous he was. Right. She was even willing to lie on his behalf. So, um, last week, actually a week today, the police came out and I was gone. My sister was here and they told her that they were here because of reports of some drug activity back here and that people were cutting through the grass. And I called the district, um, trying to figure out what was going on. Like I said, I wasn't here. So I called the district to try to figure out what was going on. And then that was it. Um, but it was, I think, exactly a week today. Right. Let me talk to my boss, Ian with just for a second right here. Okay. Let me talk to my boss and see how he wants to handle this, okay? But, but, but so we're clear with the name. Hey, Tony. We go up here and he's here and he's lying to us that he's going to jail for this week, okay? So I don't want you to get yourself in trouble because we're handling this differently if he's there. He's going to tell him to come out. I don't want to surprise anybody in a closet. I don't want to get surprised. Right. That's when bad things happen. So if you want to think about that for a minute, I'll come back and talk to you, okay? Hey, that's deep. Paul. Oh. <clears throat> what do y'all get out of kidnapping? After thinking about it, it's been short. Anyways. We're gonna ask. After thinking about it, it's been short. He's not here. What? He's here. He's here? Oh, he's in there? What's your doing? Yeah, kids. It's from Kentucky. Mm. Smith was in the building, and everybody knew it. Right. With the help of a now very cooperative mother, all five kids were safely taken outside, and it was time to storm the building. That is wrong. Yep. You can see the sticker? See the sticker? Look at that K9, that motherfucker. There you go. 
Locate you and you will be bitten when found. Yo, chat, don't. So, canines don't have to catch they, the person, predators, or, not, or anybody. They smell their fear like they. After thoroughly searching most of the building, the officer still could not find the elusive suspect. What? The only place left was the basement, and it was only a matter of time before the canine would sniff him out. All right, got it. Hands right now, both of them. Relax. 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 Oh. Oh shit. Face on the ground and all. Oh. That is not a carpet. <laughs> Yo, my man hit face first. He could have put his face, his hands on the ground to protect his face. Hey, you deserve it. Smith was finally apprehended after years of repeatedly assaulting a minor. Right. He showed no remorse for his actions as he was led to the squad car. Mm -hmm. Mario Smith was charged with and subsequently convicted of and abuse. He was sentenced to life in prison for his crimes. Woo! Next, we head to Dickinson County, Michigan. On the 21st of July, 2023, 59-year-old Todd Allen Staff. I mean, I'm going to just put it like this, Chad. This is my last time positive, and that's my kids, bro. You just look like one. Like, I know the first clip, bro, did look like a predator, but he do look like a predator, too. Like, look at his face. Look like nobody wants you. You took that, like, fuck it. I'm just about to be outside. But his definition of outside is fucking children. Stupid motherfuckers. Stupid. Stafford traveled almost 200 miles from southern Wisconsin to the Iron Mountains to have sexual relations with a 15-year-old girl. Fortunately, the police were well aware of his intentions and set up an ambush for the unsuspecting predator. Right. Open the door. <laughs> Get your Open the door. Right. Open the door. Get your, your seatbelt off. Hands up. Take your seatbelt off. Get out. Get out. Get out. On the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Hands on your back. This wasn't Stafford's first visit up Iron Mountain. He had come the previous summer and so did the 15-year-old at a motel. What? Unknown to Stafford, the child's parents had become aware of the disgusting act and promptly involved the police, who then meticulously lured him back for another visit. Of All course, right. Stafford continued to deny everything. I don't know who you're talking about. 
I just came to the park here. I know you came to the park because I told you I was at the tennis park. I told you I'd meet you here at 645. What does that got to do with anything? A lot. You were taking the office. I was just driving through. Okay. okay. Well, we can talk to you about it tomorrow. All right? He's playing dumb now. That nigga heart ain't even in his chest no more. That nigga. That nigga scared. I guess you could give me the right for why I'm being arrested here. Criminal conduct. First degree. I did not do any conduct. I just okay. came here to the park. All right, we'll talk about it. Let's have a seat in the car. Mm, mm, mm. We on the ad. I'm regretting watching these chat. I ain't gonna lie, it's just pissing me off. No cap. Todd Allen Stafford was charged with and subsequently convicted of three counts relating to predation of a minor, one count of coercion and enticement of a minor, and two counts of interstate travel with intent to engage in illicit conduct. He could be sentenced to life in prison if found guilty. <gasps> this is 32-year-old Jack William Morgan, and for more than a year, he and his partner Sophie had been scheming for a way to get Jack's ex-girlfriend, Jane Preba, back into his life. Mm -hmm. On the 31st of January, 2017, neighbors watched as Jack broke into an apartment in Las Vegas, Nevada, and snatched Jane from her home. What? The authorities were immediately notified and were able to catch the criminal duo less than 12 hours away during a traffic stop in Española, New Mexico. Mexico. Okay. This is. Hands up. Hands up. Huh? Stop. Get on your knees. Keep your hands up. You see that person all the way down there? Then the car. <laughs> it's all for both of them. Wait. So where's the girl that he snatched out? Him. According to the victim, Jack her unconscious before tying her up in chains and driving to New Mexico. What? When the deputies finally got to Jack's vehicle, the relief on Jane's face was palpable. Got a camera. You need a... Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> okay, got it? Okay, we're gonna get a shot here, okay? We're gonna get a shot here. You need me to say anything about what happened or anything? Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Just hold on, okay? Just hold on, okay? I'm thinking, Chad. Chad, I'm safe. I'm safe. I don't want to. And she understands what I'm gonna do, but she's cool with it. Okay, back him up before. This is like a movie, bro. Like y'all gotta understand, cops go through y'all. Cops seen everything every day, bro. Crazy shit every day. Most of the shit that you ever seen in your entire life, bro. Got enough light there? Dude, I don't know, there's another one out there somewhere. Okay, guys. I got pictures of her and I got pictures of the chains. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, Change is crazy. Right, her neck too. She had me earlier, and I got to take her. Right. Sophie, where you going? She can't believe it.
Police documents show that Jack planned on taking Jane to a cave he had freshly dug up where he would brainwash her into loving him again. Thankfully, his plan had failed magnificently, and right. Jane had just barely survived the harrowing ordeal. He dragged me out of the place and I fought so hard because I was like, this is how you die. And I think a neighbor saw me getting dragged out. He just out like six times because I kept fighting so hard. Okay, did you lose consciousness when he was here? Yes, like six. He out six times. Okay. You guys want to pull one of your units up here and put her in it? Okay. That's all. I was just going to see if that's all right with you guys. I don't know. I don't know whose it is, so. I also, I wear, I wear glasses and he, like, they're wrecked on the floor of my apartment. I'm going to pull my unit up. I'm going to put her in the mouth so she can stay in the mouth. We have an ambulance on our way to check you out, okay? Did you load me up? It's fine. I'm going to say they are now. This shit is so sad, bro. You guys need my, my information? Yeah, I do. Um, do you know your social? Yep. Oh, but you're from Nevada? Uh, Las Vegas. Las Vegas, Nevada? Nevada, yeah. Let me qualify this and clear on that name. Nevada. Go ahead. What's your first name? Jane. First name, Jane. Last name? Imagine being from Las, uh, what, Las Vegas. That's hard. What's your birthday? November the 19th, 1988. November 1988. Oh my god, I'm so Yeah. Is he barefooted? You wanna have a seat in here, warm up? Alright. Thank you. Yeah. Alright, I got the heater cranked up too, so let me know if you need anything, okay? Like, I'm trying to, yeah, he's barefooted, Chad. That's crazy. Jack, William Morgan, and Sophie were charged with the kidnapping of Jane Preba. Sophie pleaded guilty and was sentenced to more than five years in prison. As for Jack, he pleaded not guilty, but was still sentenced to life in prison. Click hey. the video on screen and watch as I delve further into more cases. Yeah. Hey, y'all let me know what y'all think about this video. I ain't gonna lie. This shit is insane, bro. But that last clip got me, chat. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. But y'all let me know down in the comment section what was the worst clip out of this video that you think that really made you mad, that really made you think, like, crazy. And just let Noxie know down in the comment section what you learned from this video. I ain't gonna lie. What I learned, you gotta watch. I got kids on it, you know what I'm saying? So I really gotta watch out for my daughter. It's like, no cap. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna need y'all go ahead and like and subscribe and tell my post notifications. If you want me to Noxie family, all you gotta do is put down in the comment section. Hashtag K-N-O-X, Y-Y-F-A-M. I'm gonna like it and let you know that you're in the Noxie family. It's that simple. And make sure to go find my Instagram as well. We'll be linked down in the description so it'll be easy for you guys to follow it so you don't have to follow nobody else and you think that it's me. But the whole time's not Noxie. No bullshit. But I love y'all. Y'all my heart, y'all my soul. Our bond will never fall. It's your boy T2E Noxie, but shh. Don't tell nobody, bro. You better not tell nobody. I swear to God, I'm going to deck you. <laughs>